Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to another recipe video. Today I'll be sharing four make-ahead breakfast recipes that you can prep for the upcoming week. All four of the recipes are really easy to make and also freezer friendly, which means that they'll actually last an entire week. So you don't have to stop in the middle of your week to make breakfast again. But yeah, they're great for school or work or if you have an early morning start. So if you're in need of some make-ahead breakfast ideas, then keep on watching. First up, we'll be making some vegan and gluten-free zucchini bread. Into a large bowl, add in the applesauce, coconut sugar, almond butter, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and apple cider vinegar, and then mix. Add in the flax egg and shredded zucchini, and then mix again. Sift in the gluten-free flour and the baking powder and baking soda, and mix until everything is well incorporated. Then transfer the batter into a lined or oil sprayed loaf tin and bake in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 50 to 55 minutes or until cooked all the way through. Let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes before removing it and then let it fully cool on a wire rack before cutting into it. Even though there's no oil in this recipe, it's super moist thanks to the zucchini but not gummy like a lot of gluten-free baked goods are. If you happen to have a lot of zucchinis right now, give this recipe a try and then freeze up any leftovers to keep them nice and moist. Breakfast idea number two are these vegan egg muffins. Starting off in a food processor, add in the medium firm tofu and then whiz it up real nice. Then add in some tahini, nutritional yeast, all the spices, chickpea flour, and blend until smooth. Oh, and also don't forget the miso paste. Then into a frying pan, fry up some garlic. Add in the broccoli and pepper and then fry for like 45 seconds. Then add in the corn and also some salt and pepper to taste and then cook for around 30 seconds. Then lastly, add in some scallions and then let it cook for another 20-ish seconds. Remove the vegetables from the heat and then combine it with the tofu mixture we made earlier. Transfer the batter into some muffin tins and you actually want to pack it in a bit more than I did here but then bake them at 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes and just let them cool for around 10 minutes. If you're a savory breakfast lover fellow then this one's for you. It's vegetable packed and actually tastes really eggy because of the nutritional yeast and the black salt. It's also really high in protein so it's a great way to start off your day. Also freezer friendly so you can make a huge batch of these and then just keep them in your freezer until you're ready to have them. Next up, we're going to make some classic banana bread that's healthy enough to have for breakfast. Into a bowl, mash up three ripe bananas with a fork or some kind of masher. Then add in the coconut milk, apple cider vinegar, vanilla, cinnamon, peanut butter, coconut sugar, and the flax egg, and then give it a mix. Then sift in the flour and baking soda and baking powder, and then mix to combine. Transfer the mixture into a lined loaf pan and bake in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes. Once the banana bread is fully baked, take it out of the oven and then let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes. Once you take it out of the pan, be sure to let it fully cool on a wire rack before cutting into it. This banana bread is not too sweet, which makes it a great breakfast option, but of course, add in some more sugar if you like it sweeter. You can also spread some nut butter on it to make it extra delicious and more filling. Last but not least, we're going to be making some gluten-free cornbread waffles. First, we need to make some buttermilk, so combine the soy milk and apple cider vinegar, and then let that sit for five minutes. Then into a large bowl, sift in some gluten-free flour and baking soda and baking powder. Add in the cornmeal and then mix. Add in the buttermilk we made earlier, the flax egg, maple syrup, vanilla, and non-dairy yogurt and salt, and mix until a batter forms. Let the batter sit for five minutes and then preheat the waffle iron to a medium high heat. And then once it's preheated, add in three fourths to one cup of the batter and then let them cook for five to seven minutes. What I love about these waffles is that you can serve it either sweet or savory and it's like the perfect vehicle to put your favorite toppings on. For a savory breakfast option, I've been loving this combo of adding some lettuce, jackfruit confit, tomatoes, and avocado.
And for a sweet option, I usually use non-dairy yogurt, but I was feeling kind of special this day and added on some coconut whipped cream, berries, and drizzled it with some butterscotch caramel sauce. So good, you guys. These waffles are nice and crispy, but still moist and fluffy on the inside. And the leftovers, you can easily just place them in the freezer until you want to have them. So those are all the Make Ahead recipes I have for you today. I hope you guys really enjoyed these recipes and leaves you inspired to make your own healthy breakfast at home. If you do recreate any of them, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing all of your recreations. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stick around for more. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.